What's up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here from GuitarJams.com. Hope you're doing great out there. Got a, a real fun song. Got the cape on the third fret, a little bit of a finger-picking pattern, and some pretty easy chords. Put it all together, mash it up into this tune, and I hope you like it. All right, so there's three sections to this song. And I'm going to teach it to you, you know, by showing you the chords first. Then we're going to do some uh, finger picking. But if you're a super beginner, you can just do uh, like a down strum, like one, two, three, four, or a one and two and three and four and. Keep it real simple. But let's start with the first section. Um, it's an E minor chord, and we've got the capo on the third fret. So keep that in mind, capo on the third fret. Then we play an E minor. So we've got one, two, three, four. Then a C chord, C major chord. For four. And then a G chord for twice as long as that. So for eight counts. So you've got one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Four, one, two, three, four, do, 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 Okay, so that's also, that's like the intro, and then it's also the verse. Next section we're going to call the pre-chorus, okay? It's all made up of the same chords. We're going to do C for eight counts. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. Then the same thing on E minor. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. This time, back to C. One, two, three, four, two, two. Four, but now D for that amount of counts. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. So that's the pre chorus. So we've got the intro and the verse, which would be. So that's the verse and the intro. Here comes a. And don't worry, I'm going to show you that fingering kind of pattern with the right hand there. And then we've got the chorus. G, two, three, four, C, two, three, four, G, two, three, four, D, two, B, seven, two, E minor, two, three, four, C, two, three, four, G, two, three, four, G, two, three, four. So, the chorus, it's G, C, back to G, all for the same amount. Four counts each. One, two, three, four. C, two, three, four. Back to G. One, two, three, four. Now it's D to B7, which are two counts each. So it goes by really quick. D, D, B7, E minor. Now, you can get the B7 by going 3rd fret, 2nd fret, 3rd fret. Forget about the pinky, but you can get the pinky on the 2nd fret as well. So, then back, you know, so it does that B7 to E minor, 2, 3, 4. Then C, two, three, four, G, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the chorus one more time. G, 
C G D B7 E minor C G 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 chorus G C 2 3 4 G 2 3 4 D 2 B7 2 E minor 2 3 4 C 2 3 4 G 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 Now let's work on the strumming. It's actually the same as a lesson I just taught um, called Budapest by George Ezra. It's using the same finger style technique. Um, so if you take an E minor chord with my um, index, middle, and ring finger, I'm going to be clawing the D, G, and B strings. With my thumb, I'm going to hit the low bass. You know, got to hold the E minor chord to do it. So down with the thumb, up with the claw on that D, G, and B. One of each, right? But now you can alternate to the A string. It's fun. But the extra trick is you go, so instead of we're hammering on that second, that second fret right there as part of the E minor chord, either fingering. The good news is for the G major chord in the song, the right hand's the exact same. But you just got, you know, and I got my ring finger there, but I'm not even hitting it. It's just, you know, comfortable habit. But for the G, you do that. Look at that. Now for the C chord, you do the same thing, but you shift your right hand over. So now we're clawing the high E, B, and G strings. And then we're doing the A string. And on that C chord, we're hammering that second fret of the D string now. So it's still very similar technique there. Check it out. We're going to go back to E minor. So the right hand shifts up. Then we go to C. Then we go to G. One more time. E minor. C. The right hand shifts down. G major, goes back up, so on that verse there's another thing we want to add actually, so check it out, we got the E minor, and it's the classic walk down, we got E minor, C, and then G, right? So what's going on there, it's pretty easy. This little thing is the same, but we go, you know, we hit that G note, and then my index is going down to the second fret up from the capo on that E string. So it's just.
It's just that classic up and down walking thing. Now, that pre-chorus, you know, same pattern that I just taught you. So for the C chord... minor right and then that C again D and with the D chord I'm just clawing the top three here and just hitting that D bass note and the chorus So D, it's these top four strings. The B7, it's the A string, D string, G string, and B string. They're all together. So here's the chorus again, real slow. G, C, back to G, D, B7, E minor. All right, so the chorus one more time, slow. <laughs> <laughs> 